middle class. But David, didn't this White House badly misjudge this recovery? I remember in, in 2010, two summers ago, you and Vice President Biden were running around talking about recovery summer. That was the summer of 2010. And the fact is that your White House said that if you got the stimulus, the 800 billion dollars that unemployment would stay under eight percent in fact with the stimulus unemployment has stayed over eight percent for the last 42 months that's three and a half years uh, Chris, first of all, I wasn't running around saying anything other than that uh, we were going to have to be persistent, that it took years to get into this mess. It was going to take uh, you years to get, uh, uh, summer in uh, was, uh, get out of this. Uh, uh, well, you should show me the tape of me saying that. I've been very uh, consistent about the fact that we need to be persistent uh, in our efforts here. But what we can't do is go back to the, po you know, uh, Moody's analyzed Governor Romney's plan to the degree you can because there's very few, there aren't enough specifics uh, to actually score it. And what they said was his plan would actually throw us backward and might even tip us back into a recession uh, because it would ratchet down the things we need to uh, to to keep the economy uh, growing. So but, but, uh, people but are going to have if, a real choice. May, do we want? Do we think? Do we think that raising taxes by two thousand dollars on the middle class is a way to get this economy moving? Do we think cutting education by twenty five percent is a, a way to get this economy moving? A research uh, that uh, creates innovation and technology. I don't think most Americans agree but with you keep that. But David, you keep talking about Romney. I'm asking you about the Obama record, and the fact is that unemployment has been over over 8% for 42 months, which is three and a half years. There's no doubt about it, Chris. There's no